I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short, high five. <laughs> and today we are going to talk about why keeping track of your rabbit's poop can actually tell you a lot about your rabbit's health. If you are new to my channel, welcome. We give tips and tricks about rabbit care and health so that you can have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, then go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. A rabbit's digestive system is actually very important to their health. Their health depends on their digestion continuing to go and move at a very consistent pace. They need to be frequently eating and pooping quite a lot throughout the entire day. Rabbits can actually poop one to three hundred of those little little cocoa puff poops every day. It's also why not eating and not pooping are some of the most dangerous symptoms your rabbits can have when they get sick. So pay attention if your rabbit stops eating or if you suddenly notice that they have very little poops in their box because that can be a serious sign of illness in rabbits. So there are actually two types of normal rabbit poops. One is those little Cocoa Puff rabbit poops that we are all very familiar with. <laughs> and the other type is known as Cecotropes. These are a cluster of little poops. They kind of look like a, a grape bundle cluster, except, you know, a lot smaller. <laughs> And normally you're actually not gonna see these ones cause your rabbit's gonna eat them right out of their butt. <laughs> the reason they have two different types of poops is because basically your rabbit has to digest their food twice. <laughs> so those normal Cocoa Puff poops that you see every day are actually the part of your rabbit's diet that they are unable to digest. But the reason that those are so important is because they keep your rabbit's system going the high fiber parts of your diet so from the hay a lot of that your rabbit can't actually digest but it's important because it keeps it going while your rabbit works to <laughs> digest the parts of their diet that they actually can get nutrients from and that's what the secret tropes are for they take a separate route in the rabbit's digestive system so that they can be fermented almost into the cecotropes and then your rabbit can eat them again and absorb the nutrients that they need. So your rabbit's digestion and health really depends on this delicate balance between these two different types of poops, the nutrient dense cecotropes and the high fiber rabbit fecal pellets. Basically what it comes down to is rabbits poop so much because they need to digest their food twice but also keep their digestion going at the same time. Because a rabbit's digestive system is actually so important to their health, keeping an eye on their daily poops in their litter box can actually tell us quite a bit about their health. This way we can catch any signs of an illness in our rabbits early so that we can get them the help they need before it becomes a serious problem. That's why it's so important to litter train your rabbit so that you can keep an eye on their poops every day, like scoop it out, just kind of check them, make sure everything's looking good, and then dump them. This way you'll know what's normal for your rabbit and you'll be able to catch any sign of something changing very, very quickly. So what is normal poops for a rabbit? Well, normal can be slightly different depending on your particular rabbit, so you need to keep an eye on it every day so that you know what what to expect from your rabbit. A normal size for a healthy rabbit fecal pellet can be anywhere from the size of a pea to the size of a chickpea. <laughs> so it can have a variance in size. Really what you're looking for is a consistent size for your rabbit. They should also be a pretty consistent color and they should be a pretty consistent shape. So you don't want super deformed poops and generally you're not gonna have a problem with poops that are very different colors as long as your rabbit's diet has been consistent throughout the day. As you're keeping an eye on the poop in your rabbit's litter box, there are some emergency situations that need help right away. One is if your rabbit is not pooping at all. As I mentioned earlier, this can be incredibly dangerous and if you don't take, your, take it seriously and get your rabbit to the vet as soon as possible, it can end up being fatal. Your vet will be able to diagnose the issue and kind of give your rabbit medicines or help them start pooping again as quickly as possible so that their health can get back to normal. 
The other emergency situation that you want to look out for is diarrhea. Now this is actually very, very uncommon in adult rabbits and usually only happens as a result of poison, whether it be um, a human food that they shouldn't be eating or a plant, like a house plant that you have around the house that is poisonous to rabbits. Things like that can end up poisoning a rabbit, which is usually the only time that you'll see true diarrhea in rabbits. Now, diarrhea is when their actual fecal pellets, so the cocoa puffs, come out in liquid. This is different than mushy poops you might see as a result of cecotropes that are not fully formed. If you have mushy cecotropes, that's actually not quite as dangerous a situation. It can be an indication of an imbalanced diet, but it is not the same as true diarrhea. So you can usually tell the difference because true diarrhea is going to be much more liquid and it'll be a little bit darker in color. Whereas mushy cecotropes usually have kind of a, a more clay-like texture. They will usually also still have some form to them. Even if it's not the close texture that most cecotropes have, it will still have some kind of form that's just kind of mushy and not quite what it should be. That is still a, a situation where you want to consider getting your rabbit some medical attention, but it is not as emergency as true diarrhea is. Now some other signs that you can keep an eye out for while you're doing your daily poop check when you're emptying your rabbit's litter box. Uh, one is small poops. So rabbits should normally have about the same size poops every day, but sometimes you might notice poops that are much smaller than average. A little bit smaller is probably nothing to worry about unless they are consistently getting smaller over time. But if you find poops that are much smaller, then that's something to pay attention to. If it's just a few small poops a day, then it's probably not a big issue. But if you're seeing a lot of smaller poops, then that is definitely something that you want to get looked into. It, it could mean that your rabbit is very stressed, or it could mean that your rabbit has some kind of underlying illness that you really need to go to the vet to get diagnosed. Another thing to look out for is double poops, or sometimes even triple poops. This is what happens when your rabbit's digestive system slows down enough that the poops in there kind of collide and seem to almost merge into one poop. This usually happens just like small poops as a result of some kind of stress or a small illness that's causing your rabbit's digestive system to slow down as a result. So definitely something to keep an eye on. If it's only a few poops every day, that's, that's totally normal and nothing to worry about. You're looking for a bunch of these poops in your litter box at a time, and especially if you're seeing it over multiple days in a row, then that's a reason to make an appointment with your vet to make sure that there's no kind of underlying condition that you need to be aware of. Another type of poop you might find in your rabbit's litter box is linked poops. These are poops that are kind of in a, a string connected by lots of fur. This will usually happen when your rabbit is shedding a lot. For the most part, this is actually not something that you need to worry about. If your rabbit is pooping out their fur, that means it's going through the system and that's fine. If you notice a lot of these kinds of poops in your rabbit's litter box, then groom them more to help them get rid of a lot of that excess fur so they're not eating quite as much of it. I also have a video about shedding in rabbits with tips about how you can groom your rabbit and how to make sure that the seasonal shedding that you're seeing is actually normal and is not something that you should be worried about. Another thing that you might notice in your rabbit's litter box is too many cecotropes. Normally your rabbit will eat your, their cecotropes right out of their butt so you're not going to end up seeing them. If you do find a couple in the litter box every now and then, that's nothing to be concerned about. But if it's a frequent occurrence, then that could mean that there is some kind of imbalance in your rabbit's diet. So if you do see a lot of cecotropes, then you might want to look into your rabbit's diet to make sure that everything's going okay. Like I mentioned earlier, mushy cecotropes that might look like kind of a thick, a thick diarrhea-esque can also be something you see. This is a much bigger indication of an unhealthy diet than just seeing a lot of cecotropes. So usually when you see these mushy cecotropes, that means that your rabbit has too many sweets, too many pellets, and not enough hay, because the, the high fiber is what's going to help make sure that that balance between the cecotropes and the fecal pellets, the poops, <laughs> are is okay. If you're seeing too many cecotropes or mushy cecotropes, then 
definitely are going to want to look at the diet and it's a good idea to get advice from your veterinarian to make sure that you are going about this in the correct way and making sure your rabbit stays healthy. So have fun diving into your rabbit's litter box every day. <laughs> If you want more information about rabbit care and how to make sure that you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home, then go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so you don't miss a video. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next week.